the vast majority of Utahns vote at home. Unfortunately, in most Utah counties, voters who cannot read or mark a mailed paper ballot experience significant barriers when exercising their right to vote privately and independently. This video highlights the disparities that exist for voters with print disabilities and why Utah policymakers should ensure all Utahns have equal access to voting at home. The, the ADA, or the Americans with Disabilities Act, um, is just a federal law that says people with disabilities um, should have equal access as everyone else. A person with their disability, any disability of any kind, deserve to have a right to vote. Voting is important to me because it is my right. It is my way to have a voice in my community and it's my way to give back in the ways that I know. We just need to improve the access. We need to remember people with all types of different disabilities. Adam lives in a county where he can use his personal device to vote privately and independently. Wherever it lives, the only place that he can exercise his right to a private and independent vote is at a vote center. Let's compare their June 2022 voting experiences. Everett left work early. He paid $13.86 for transportation to the vote center on the second day of early voting. He paid a visual interpreting service, IRA, $14.40. I'm going to be using IRA, which is, is spelled A-I-R-A. It is a, a visual interpretation service. Despite this, Everett still encountered barriers. Okay, so I do see something here called Salt Lake County Election Division. There was no information on the county's website about the location inside the building. The poll workers did not post location signs until 30 minutes after the polls opened. Okay, so I think I know why we missed it. Okay. There was a lady that was putting up signage right when we got oh. back over here and we passed okay. her and then turned around. Okay, now she, because she just put something up and now I see it. So it shows okay. voting here, so it shows going straight. So go ahead and go straight. Yeah, go ahead okay. and go straight. Finally, after 32 minutes of searching, the camera crew alerts Everett to the location of the vote center. Okay. Everett, it's right behind you on your right. It's right behind me on my right. right yeah. And there's no sign. There's a sign on the door. There's a sign on the door. Yeah, I'm just going to just kind of... Like most voters, Adam is able to vote privately and independently from anywhere in a matter of minutes. Everett left work early, paid for transportation, paid a visual interpreting service, and then walked around the mall for 32 minutes trying to locate the vote center. After he arrived, the poll workers labored to figure out how to set up the accessible voting machine. So let's break this down. After Everett arrived at Trolley Square, it took him 32 minutes to find the voting center. Once there, it took him 26 minutes to vote. He paid $13.86 for transportation. He paid $14.40 for IRA. The total expenses were $28.26, and there was only one race on his ballot. On the other hand, Adam was able to cast his vote in under four minutes right from the kitchen. If this was not my first time doing this, I would have probably just thrown the machine down and walked out because I would have been so frustrated with it. Um, and this is why blind people and other people with print disabilities they end up giving up their, their um, ability and their opportunity and their right to vote independently and privately. And they just let someone else do it for them because this is such a difficult process. And this is why we need that transmitting ballot service that allows us to use our own equipment. You saw me using my phone earlier. I can use my phone very well and I know exactly what to do and how to do it. And that's how most individuals are with their own technology. Fortunately for Everett, he lives in Salt Lake County. If you have a print disability and live in Green River, for example, to vote privately and independently, you will need to go all the way to Castledale. This is a 166 mile round trip. Being able to vote electronically would eliminate this very long commute. Uh, for true privacy and independence, my, uh, the only option at the moment is uh, to use one of the electronic voting machines at, uh, at the polling place. Uh, the last couple election cycles, I've, I've, I've 
been able to vote by mail from home, but I'm lucky enough today to be able to uh, go to a um, go to a vote center that's about a, that's about a mile away from the house, and for uh, the first time in two in two years or more, uh, be able to cast my ballot privately, truly privately and independently. Where we run into issues is with paper ballots, um, and so vote by mail and things like that. That is where you run into challenges with a private and independent vote for those voters with print disabilities because they can't mark a paper ballot oftentimes without the assistance of another person. We would like to see people, uh, you know, it, uh, election officials and, and county clerks and things like that provide um, an electronic means for people to vote, particularly those with print disabilities. Um, with a major transition, I think, in, in Utah and in a lot of states to uh, vote by mail, people are being sent paper ballots. Um, what that means is people with disabilities, people with print disabilities, can't vote privately and independently, thus are not provided equal access as they should under the Americans with Disabilities Act and the Help America Vote Act. So Utah needs to offer uh, an electronic accessible ballot system that um, I can vote independently and privately on my own using a device that I'm comfortable with. Ultimately, I'd like to be able to uh, vote uh, electronically um, electronically and transmit the and transmit my ballot electronically because it allows me to vote privately and independently um, when it, whenever and from wherever I would like just like every other just like every other voter can now voting from home has given me an opportunity to vote in private where it wasn't there before for example I'd go to the voting pool and sometimes the machine wasn't even working and then I'd have to get a worker or someone else I knew to come help me and they would know what the, the vote I casted was. I feel very fortunate to live in Utah County. I've been able to vote from my phone for the last few years. And from what I understand, there's only two counties in the entire state of Utah that offer this type of accessible voting. And so what we would like to see is voters with print disabilities be able to um, vote electronically from home um, and provided some type of accessible ballot um, where, you know, anyone else would have the same opportunity. If a ballot is sent to me, um, you know, paper ballot, I can mark that ballot at home by myself without anyone's assistance. Um, if a voter with a disability doesn't have um, the, you know, the means to do that or, or need some assistance, um, we just wanna see that they would be provided something. I think the law says they should be provided that same equal access to vote privately and independently as other voters.